Hey YouTube, JW. Got another knife I want to show you dudes here today. Uh, and dude, that's it is the Emerson Kershaw. It's a CQC 8. You may have seen my other review on the CQC 7. Okay, which I've carried this knife uh, quite a few times now, and I'm happy with it, other than the fact that there's a little bit you know that a little bit of blade play here on this liner lock lockup. If I but in any kind of a grip that I grip this in any way, it's solid. It's like this liner lock is not going in just far enough. It just leaves a little bit of room. I mean, it's still securely locked, but I don't know. It's a budget knife, you know. I think I paid like thirty bucks for this, but. I did notice that. A little bit of play there, but other than that, it's been good. That's the CQC 7K. Let's see what we got. CQC 8K. So let's see what we've got here. I did have it out of the box, but I put it back in there because people like to see stuff taken out of the box. I know I do. Let's see what we got. I do like the box too on these. They're nicely packaged. I think it looks cool with the Emerson skull. But it comes with some literature from Kershaw and Emerson. And this is it. Got that nice G10 scales on both sides where it is on the this one you've got the stainless steel. You see the difference there. Now this one, solid lockup. No, no play or nothing. This one pretty much did it right out of the box. I've got this. Hear that? Nothing. You know that? I mean, if I tighten this all the way down where this is tight, I mean, it's, but then it's too tight. So, I don't know. I mean, like I said, any any kind of grip where you'd be using this knife in any way, it doesn't I think do it. A lot of it is because on this model, you have the liner that is part of the handle here that comes up. And that's where I'm getting that little bit of play. There's a, there's a, slope to this when this goes in the farther you push it in the more it engages and it's just quite if it would go just in just up I mean just not much um, let's see if I can give you some specs here on this dude uh, it's overall length of 8 8.10 the blade length is 3.5 thickness 0 0.12 it's 8 CR 13 MOV steel on the blade uh, it's got that black type finish on it plain blade um, right left hand tip up carry so it's the same as the 7k um, stainless steel liners <clears throat> Got the thumb disc, and then of course it has the wave feature there, which I have used uh, quite a bit with that other one. And honestly, it was my first knife with the wave feature, and uh, I really like it. It's it's a great deployment type. It really is. Um, Zimberry Emerson, yeah, made in China. So, some people can't get past the fact that uh, you know these are made in China. Doesn't really bother me. I think I paid thirty-five dollars for this, and you can see. 
it's got that chisel grind on it there um, which is going to make it very easy to sharpen um, let's see how sharp it is out of the box a lot of people say just do this it's sharp solid lockup um, really to me I prefer the size of this one over the 7k I think um, basically the same size just a little bit a little bit different profile um, different kind of handle kind of comes back here and uh, has a different feel to it makes it feel like you could grip it maybe a little bit farther back um, but really they're basically just the same size knife um, this one is definitely wider um, I've been real happy with this uh, Kershaw line up here and you know I uh, don't really buy a whole lot of new knives but when I saw this collaboration with Emerson which I've always been a fan of but I've just never been able to pull the trigger on spending that much money on this type of knife so uh, this is right up my alley and uh, these things are white hot right now and they've been selling like crazy um, I like it I like the black it's a sharp looking knife um, for $35 $37 on eBay you can't go wrong so um, you can watch videos that are going to be a lot more in depth than mine but uh, as far as testing and stuff like that um, I don't need to test this out I mean especially for the money if you're paying two hundred dollars for a knife then um, I would expect it to be absolutely perfect but for the for what you get in these knives for the money all around they're very very good and I think that pretty much goes without saying and I do like how the Emerson's have <clears throat> standard size screws to take it apart you don't need any special tools the grip on it is good um, got some jimping here and uh, some pretty good jimping on the top here for your thumb they really lock into the hand good and it's got that flat chisel left hand flat there which is an interesting blade profile it's a cool knife just wanted to show you guys that and uh, kind of show you both of these here together I appreciate you guys watching Follow me on Google Plus and uh, have a good one.